Well, aside what? from the fact that technically you're live. Yeah. You are live now. Right. And you are always live. Yeah. And this energy that you give off, and it's not the kind of energy like pushing a car, but it's sort of a great energy, or whatever you call it, okay? And I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Well, thank you. I, I mean, I look at you 24 hours a day, and I think, how did this happen? <laughs> really, how did this happen? This guy loves me. He adores okay. me. Yeah, it's so incredible. I mean, who knows how this happened? Okay, I, I didn't don't know. plan this. This was not my plan. No. Okay. Anyway. Well, hi. <laughs> <laughs> this beautiful you look woman. So, you look so beautiful. Thank you. He's wearing one of his satin shirts tonight. Yeah. Which inspired me to wear yeah. a satin shirt. Come over here. Okay. What do you see him? He's so beautiful. Yeah, look at this. Look, 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 look. Oh, just no, come over here. Yeah, just a minute. I'm also the cameraman, you know, so I have to, you know, set this up. Right, but you stand over here. I will. Okay, very perfect. Okay, thank you, camera. <laughs> okay. Okay, look at him. Here we are. Look. This is beautiful. Oh, look okay, at I'm him. I'm not kidding. This is beautiful. What, since, you and me? Since 1968. <laughs> okay. It's like Jefferson's around. That's a long time ago. Yeah. 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 Jefferson? What Jefferson? Like Pre that Jefferson? Pre President Jefferson. Oh, okay. Yeah. I All admire right. them. The Jefferson Airplane. Yeah, there's that, yeah, too. I admire them, too. <laughs> yeah. No, Jefferson Alan, is a great president. you have to president. scooch down a little so we can see your, your head. Scooch down a little, Al. We can see just your nose. Look at his beautiful really? shirt. You mean I have to be down here? I yeah, that's better. So what What do you see? You see my head down to... No, I'm cut... My shoulder. No, all you see is my head. So I mean, it can be like, you know, Charlie McCarthy. <laughs> who's yeah, Charlie, who's Charlie McCarthy? Call, who's Charlie like McCarthy? I don't know. Okay, I'll give you a hint. I don't know who Charlie McCarthy is. Who? Edgar Bergen. Oh, that was his puppet? Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, Charlie McCarthy. You have to be our age to know that because right. that they appeared on the Ed, Sull yeah. Ed yeah. Sullivan show. Do you yeah. remember Ed Sullivan? No, they don't remember that. Yes, they do. Do they? Yeah, Beatles, yeah you do, Beatles don't you? Beatles made their first North American appearance on the Ed Sullivan show. Right. I remember that. That was so exciting. I actually We did, all sat I, around you, the living room. You know, what, I, what did, did you do? I did the Ed Sullivan show. Tell me about it. Don't you believe me? I do. Okay. But tell me about it. Well, do you know what I did on the Ed Sullivan show? I don't. Can you imagine? You were offered the job? I was offered the job. Wow. And I took it. Okay. The Ed Sullivan, the Ed, this is being on the Ed Sullivan show. Okay. The Ed Sullivan Show was originating in Toronto that The week. greatest show on Sunday night okay. is he what would, united families. We all sat around the living room and we all watched. All the time. We watched yeah, all Ed the Sullivan. Time. I could be in the middle of something really important. Oh, did I interrupt you? Like, See, she doesn't even know. I'm so sorry. She just, she just, the mouse that's moving whenever she feels like moving it. Where was I? You don't know. I don't know. I wasn't listening to yeah, you. I'll go back to Charlie McCarthy. <laughs> Okay, robot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Anyway, this is kind of nice. I like being close like this. I like it. And actually, Kiss I can. Kiss my shoulder. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I know this shoulder. <laughs> no. Anyway. But um, you know, sometimes in the morning. Oh. <laughs> I know this is not going to be good news. Yes. Your beard. You have a strong, manly beard. But sometimes it rubs against my shoulder or my cheek or my forehead to the point where I think, ow, well, I don't want to complain. Well, if you'd leave me alone, <laughs> this wouldn't be happening. <laughs> it wouldn't. <clears throat> uh, you know, the hand creeps over and makes, you know, hi. I know. And I know, I mean, you have a beard that grows every night. Well, so, no, I'm just kidding. It should be there. <laughs> yeah. But it, well, I'll shave every is. day. I didn't have a razor for a long time. I know. 
You, we, we went to I, no, actually, Costco. Yeah, I actually had a razor, but I've used the same blade in the razor, I'll bet, 25 times. I'm not a good customer for the razor blade business. But he's a good customer for Costco. We went to Costco and bought at Venus razor blades, and it was like a... A whole pack. Yeah. Like 20 of them. Yeah. And the thing that holds them. Yeah. 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 What else did we get? You got onions. Incredible we love, onions. We love their onions. We're, but you they know, are most incredible. Onions, yeah, most of the onions that buy in the supermarket, they don't have the whole brown skin on them. No. Okay? It's, they've been around so long that the skin shrinks and starts falling off. But we... Not good. We rubbed our... Right. Uh, Big onions, they're like onions like this. They look like they've just been harvested. Yeah, I think... Are we doing a commercial for Costco? Why not? And, you know, you should follow up on that. Call Mr. Costco oh. and say you should watch my wife talk about you and yeah. your fascination with Costco. He loves like Costco. Costco. Yeah, that's great. He got the, what, the black card? No, it's just like, uh, it's, it's, I think it's a special card that lets me go in with the old this people. This is what he likes. He likes to go in first thing before they open up. And I'm the youngest guy in there. That's what he likes. He feels like he's uh, speedy. And, um, and I'm who? Speedy. Speedy? Yeah, that you're ahead of all the old people. Oh, yeah. Well, I, that's not hard to do. But, you know, you're one of the old people now. <laughs> Why are you amused by that? Because one of these days you're going to be one no, of the No, the other people. day when you said, in four years I'll be 90, it hit me like, you will? Actually, wow. it was like three and a half years. Wow. Yeah. And then I, it hit me that in four years I'll be 80. Yeah. But you know wow. what? Those are not old today. Although, although, this is shocking. Yeah. The life expectancy in this country, America, has gone from, I think, 77 to 73. That's mm. three years we lost like that wow. since, since the wow. Pan pandemic. Wow. wow. Amazing. The pandemic. Wow, the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I have to get back to my duty That's here. Good. That's okay. his code for I'm it's bored. It's been really nice. <laughs> I was sitting next to, okay, you can go. This is a good one. I was sitting next to David Foster at a dinner party the other night, and Dorothy Hamill was on this side of him and I was on the other side of him. I like David Foster. He's got a twinkle in his eye, he's a bad boy and mischievous, and um, it's fun. And so he was talking to me and I, I, I was giving him a lot of attention, and then he said to me, I'm gonna talk to Dorothy because you're boring me. <laughs> I went, how great, not that great? <laughs> but his wife was down there and I said, so Kat, um, David just said I'm boring him. And he, she said, that's his dinner party exit. And then he came back to me and he said, not really. He's a doll. You know, uh, I, I've known him for a long time. You have. And my greeting to him, whenever I run into him at a social event, is that I get behind him so he doesn't know, he hasn't seen me yet, and I grab his butt. Oh. And even before he turns around, he knows it's me. Oh. Yeah. It's a little thing that we. Who have... likes it more, him or you? Pardon me? Who likes it more, him or you? You mean grabbing his butt? Yeah. Well, he has asked me out for dinner. <laughs> He said, Suzanne doesn't have to come. Okay, he can just be the two of us. Yeah. I've, I actually, had, I've, I, never, I've never had a night out with the boys, or even a boy. No, he hasn't. Ever. Oh, once I did. Bruce took me to a wine tasting. Bruce, my son. He's our son. In Beverly Hills. It was yeah. under the road or something. Yeah. And everyone had to bring a bottle of wine or two bottles of wine, and there were like 10 guys there, including me. I'd never been to a wine tasting. And also, I know nothing about wine other than I like it or I don't like it. And so we're sitting around. It's a windowless room. We're under the street, I believe. And um, everyone's tasting everybody else's wine, and they're saying things like, muscular. <laughs> Just notes of licorice. 
<laughs> and they're saying things like this, and I'm drinking the same wine, and I'm thinking, it's very nice wine, but I don't, I don't, what is muscular wine? <laughs> anyway, that was the first and only night out I've ever had, and it was with Brucey. And lucky me, huh? I have a husband who doesn't want to go out with the boys. He just likes to be with me. Duh. I like everything about you. Thank you. Yeah. Did you see him in his beautiful shirt? He looks so beautiful tonight. You're wearing these satin shirts that are outstanding. That I haven't worn for 60 years. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. They were made in 60, 1962. No. So what is that? That's 38, 48, 58, I'm that's 60 years. Together, um, a little montage of your shirts. And it would really help me if you could go stand next to Suzanne. Stand next and to me. Explain the era of when you got those shirts made and how you're wearing them again. Okay. Do a okay. Come over here. Because okay. I, well, I actually, now like I know how to position one. myself okay. because I'm looking at the camera. And yeah. I, I will be I'll, standing there. You won't see my head, but you will see. I just need my... you to talk. I need you to introduce the shirts because now I've got three colors. Yeah. I've got like. How about the gold the other day? Wow. I still have another one or two. Yeah. He has. A, this isn't all there is, by the way. There's more to come. Okay. Okay, what? I say that today we're talking about hair care. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hair care. Oh, God, I love our hair care. And, I love it. Um, the hair care, the entire department of hair care is 30% off today. Yeah. And the promo code is CLEAN30. That's CLEAN, C-L-E-A-N, 3-O digital. So. 30% off hair care. So we have volumizing conditioner by the way, and volumizing by the way, uh, shampoo. Uh, Caroline, is that true for uh, grow back? Yes. Okay. That's a new product we have. So um, the conditioner and shampoo, guess what it has? Squalene. Hmm? Do you have any squalene? squalene? Go look in your medicine cabinet. Do you have squalene? No. I owned, I owned a couple of squalene and then they they ate too much and the cage wasn't big You're enough lying. for them. Uh, squalene helps create volume as it strengthens the hair shaft while enhancing elasticity for hair. So it's in both the shampoo and the conditioner. The um, shampoo has shea butters. The conditioner has shea butters and other wonderful things. You, you put it in your scalp and you massage it around for a little bit and then pull it through to the ends and then rinse it off. And I can't believe what it's done for my hair. It's well, really incredible. You know, as I have to keep mentioning, the quality of our products yep. is, quality. is not challengeable right. by anybody. Right. Okay, it's the best of the best because we use them ourselves and it's important for us to make sure you get what we're using and loving. Before we put a, a, a product out, it goes through the, the rinse cycle. With, first the, with Most Caroline, conditioners pardon? are heavy in um, silicones, but not this. But they're also chemicals. Right. Volumizing conditioner is like magic on your hair. It's really incredible, really incredible. And then the other thing we have is, you know, when you want to like take your bangs and make them PC or take a piece of your hair and make it PC, then you use the styling gel. And the styling gel is, uh, it's got xylitol in it. What, what else is in it? I thought it'd be. Uh, well, Mac, Mac 15316 says shea butter and squalene are great oils. They, she's right. She's right. I'm not sure this it, is. It also has quinoa in it, that's styling gel. And the styling gel has quinoa and. Um, I have some on right now. You do? Yeah. Huh. I use it every day. I, actually, I do too. I use it to like piece my bangs. Yeah. No, I, I wash my hair. I towel dry it, yeah. 
Yeah. I put on some, uh, what is that? It's, it's not activating, we have activating, but the other thing, it's like activating serum. Uh, styling gel? No, before um, styling gel. The, um, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Caroline? <laughs> Yeah. What is the stuff that you put on your Activating hair? Activating serum and styling gel. No, no, before that. Uh, the volumizing elixir that we no longer carry? No, 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 it's something totally different. It's, it's the um, stuff you put on to calm you put it on down, your hair. the you oil. You put it on your hair before the styling gel. Aren't we great salespeople? It's the, act it's the activating serum. No, that's the first one. Uh, something low. Anyway. Anyway, whatever it is, I use it every day. <laughs> we, have, we have True Brazilian Activating Serum. We have True Brazilian Finishing good for you products so uh, think about that with the th these are good for you hair products you know your brains up here and you're in the steam shower or hot steam from just a regular shower opens all the pores so when you put chemicalized shampoo or conditioner on there the brain absorbs all those um, chemicals but with this when the brain cells open and we put the shampoo and conditioner on, the brain goes, thanks, that's nice, that's nice. I hear, I hear the same voice. What? That's nice, that's nice. Oh, you hear the same voice? Yeah. yeah. It is nice. It's, it's great. I mean, it's important. I, I, I used to use, it, you know, years ago when <clears throat> I was on TV every day and I used to, I, I made a deal with a barber in Toronto, no, no, I'm sorry. He was a hairstylist, and he, but he was a barber, a good one, and an English bloke. When I met you, you were still going with him. Yeah, so I'd have straight hair all the time. Yeah. And I had a deal, I paid him by the year that I can go in anytime I wanted. You know, Leslie's coming Monday for dinner, and she's offered to cut your hair, and she's a good haircutter. She's the best. You need a, a good haircut. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's what we're going to do. coming Monday? Yeah. Why? Well, because we have a gorgeous new top that looks very similar. To When's the she coming? Wearing. On the 25th? She's coming twice. Okay, but she... I, I, I would love, because we wanted to do a show to get it to people before Valentine's oh. Day. Oh, well. Great Valentine's Day. Oh, well, talk. communicate with her, because she's coming for, for dinner on Monday. Oh, if she can make it by... Showtime, I would she can. She can. I'll see if she can because I know yeah. she's going out of town, so she said she wasn't going to be back. In out of town is here, she's here with Andrew. Mm. She probably doesn't have her stuff with her. 
I don't know. She talked about it today. We saw her this morning. So I'll entertain you folks while these two are talking, okay? <laughs> All right, we'll see. You want to hear a, an old classic from the 40s? And how gorgeous it makes your eyes look. Oh. Um, it is the color of your eyes, actually. It's is like it? A, it's like a stormy blue. It's Thank you. I saw I saw this top online and it was kind of pricey and I I kept saying no and then I thought it's great for Facebook Live and I bought it so I'm glad you well, like it. We have three beautiful colors in a similar top. Um, yeah, that yeah. You guys are gonna love and um, as soon as Leslie has a day to get down with Suzanne and Alan, we'll bring it to you. Okay. Well, I like Suzanne. We'll announce what days that they can get the top. And I know that she's coming for dinner Monday. So we'll see. Okay. We'll see. Um, yeah. Yes, a lot of people talking about how beautiful your eyes look. And they oh, love well. you, home. Oh, wow. They love you. You know, thank you. And I love you. I read the comments on the other night when I was wearing the yellow and you said such nice things. And um, we enjoyed it, didn't we, Alan? We watched the whole show together. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. While we're having dinner. Yeah. And we didn't have to watch the news. No. Oh, no. I'm I a, don't want to watch do the news. Do you know I'm a news junkie? I know, but it's awful. They do I know, the same it's awful. News it's awful. 75 times an hour. I know. It, 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 I like have, hearing noise in the house. I don't like quiet. Yeah, they have different people doing the same story. I know, but you know, you know, you have to understand my background. When I came home from school, if if I got to the back door and all the all the drapes were closed in the house, I knew that my mother had already received my father, and she wanted to like keep what was going to go on that night private. And um, uh, how the hell did you get into that? I don't know. Well, <laughs> I thought, we were having fun a minute ago. Well, 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 and now we're talking about it. was scary. Oh, my yeah, God. Suzanne's going to go home. Why it was scary, so she likes background noise. And the curtain's going to well, be drawn. You're, you're so right, Caroline. And she's going to know scary. that it's going to be a rough day. So, so <laughs> lean into your music and turn off the news. Mm -hmm. Oh, do we want music? I'm really trying to. No, leave the music on. It's nice. Okay. It's very nice. Let's see who's singing. I'm trying to not watch the news. Yeah, a little bit of news is good. These days, uh, a little bit a of... A news gets redundant and anxiety provoking. Yeah, very, but, very you much so. We do want to send out our love to uh, the Presley family. What a oh, tragedy. Oh, my love God. Them. A lot of people are commenting about that. Oh, my God. Yeah. I could so not so believe sad. that. I, I wonder, I wonder, what could have caused that to happen in such a young person? I wonder, when I look, looked at pictures of her yesterday, she doesn't look quite right. I wonder if she was feeling it beforehand. I'm just wondering. So sad. I, I know her mother quite well. And... Um, Whenever I go to an event where Priscilla is there, we always spend the evening talking to one another. And she must be devastated. And if you're watching Priscilla, I am so deeply sorry. I can't imagine any pain greater than losing a child. I just can't imagine it. So rest in peace, Lisa Marie. So awful. She's had, she had so many tragedies, um, not only Elvis, but then um, her son committed suicide. Yeah, Lisa Marie's son. Yeah, and then um, uh, they're just she just had one after another. It was really sad, really sad. Hold it. What? You just went from. I know what's going to be in the house tonight with Daddy. <laughs> and now we're talking about. <laughs> I think we have to get back to happy time here. <laughs> I am happy. I know you are. I wake up every day and I always say I'm alive and I'm in love and I'm happy. I think what you feed your brain 
is what you will live. The brain believes everything you tell it, and so I just fill my brain with positives, and I just, I just wake up in the morning, and I, the first thing I think in the morning is, I'm alive, I'm in love, I'm happy, I'm healthy, I have energy, and, um, and then I do. Then I go up about my day, and I feel great all day. Tell your brain what you want to feel, and it will accommodate you. Okay? Good advice. Yep. We all want to be grateful for, even even through obstacles. Mm. That's, that's the greatest discipline in life, is to count your blessings. Yeah. I maybe, I wonder if what you're saying is, especially during obstacles, maybe, maybe the obstacles are our gift. Well, in many ways, yeah. that's the only time you learn. It's like <clears throat> in yeah. business, you never learn when uh, your business is successful. Yeah. You only learn when your business is failing. And that's when the fire alarm <laughs> goes off and says, you better <laughs> think in something really fast. <laughs> I love your positive thinking. You never, I never hear you say anything negative ever, ever, ever. Oh, occasionally. No, I don't. Alan? Yeah. He's so positive. It's great. <laughs> Carolyn's got her, Car Carolyn's yeah. got her therapist on speed dial. <laughs> Yeah, she's calling her therapist. Did you hear what Alan said? <laughs> Did you and say, Susanna hear agreed? Alan say, you got your therapist on speed dial? <laughs> <laughs> no, Alan and I are good. You are. You are. <laughs> I remember a, a time. Oh, no. Oh, hold it. <laughs> I don't even know what's coming. I know it's not going to be good. <laughs> time when Caroline was having a hard time with you. Let me let me talk about <laughs> hair care okay. today. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. Thank you. You get thirty percent off hair it care. It all worked out, Caroline. And that includes everything we got a lot of stuff in hair care. It's all pure, organic, wonderful, can never hurt you, no toxins, and it's all in many cases good for you, okay? 30% off mm -hmm. all hair care. Yeah. And and that's yeah. and the promo Including code the, the promo code is clean C L E A N 30 Three O. Okay? 30% off. Good deal. But think of the quality. Volumizing okay. conditioner and volumizing shampoo. Which by the way, the last two things I showed you are loaded with squalene. I yeah, like the squalene. moisture magnet, that's squalene. That's, that's, that's another... For the hair. Yeah. The moisture magnet. Caroline, with her mastery of words, calls it a moisture magnet. Isn't that perfect? I like or, moisture... As Alan calls moisture it, madness. What do you call it, Alan? Moisture madness. <laughs> huh. There you go. Yeah. See, I was once involved in uh, something called March Madness. Uh-huh. It's where, and I have to tell you, first of all, I, what? I don't think, I, maybe I've watched one basketball game in my life, okay? I'm not kidding. I mean, no, I know, because I've, I've actually maybe it's never on the watched okay. a game with yeah. you. Yeah, so what was I going to say that was really important? I don't know, but you've March watched... Madness. You were involved with March Madness? Did, did you watch a game, or did, were you an announcer or something? No, no, uh, the sports I covered were offbeat sports like flying over the Alps, Thailand boxing, a scuba, a, a scuba diving, hot filing out of airplanes, <laughs> terrifying. It's so great what you've done. So and what does that have to do with March Madness? I don't know. March Madness, is, isn't that when all the basketball teams play for... Yes, college basketball tournament. Yeah, so one year I played in March Madness and the thing they had, the, it showed you the, there were boxes. I came within one or two of winning all that money. What and money? Everyone puts... Oh, he, he, they, they have a bracket at the beginning of oh, March Madness. Oh, okay, okay. And it's, it's so random, like it's impossible to get it all right. And he's saying he only missed one or two, which is outrageous. Okay. That's like, you know what, that's like the monkey on Wall Street. Yeah. There's, and there's some guy owns a monkey or brings a monkey to Wall Street, and the monkey points at the stocks. 
that he or she thinks is going to do really like, well. Mm -hmm. And the monkey, in many cases, does better than all the big investment experts that are sitting there on Wall Street. Mm. Huh. So what does that tell you? Nothing. No, it does I'll tell you. you. Where I tried, is she? but she was running away. She is right at the front door. Oh, she's at the... By the way, you're all commenting on the last show that sounds like there's a fountain that's ongoing, and that is where Gloria is sitting right now. She likes to drink her water. Come here, Gloria. No. I actually had to pee during the last show, and yeah. that trickling sound was making it. <laughs> 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 People out there who yeah. know who Edgar Bergen is. Yes. Well, it was, what's her name, Bergen's father? Candace. Candace Bergen. Beautiful. I loved Candace. Beautiful. You did a show, a series, I guess. It was called Hollywood Wives. Yeah. Jackie Collins. Yeah. That was the second Jackie Collins movie you ever did. You did her first movie yeah. called Yesterday's Hero. Good for you. To it was in this. London. Yeah. And uh, we took our two boys with us. We checked into the Dorchester, of course. And... Uh, it was the most wonderful schedule for a movie. Wonderful. Okay, the most wonderful schedule yeah. for a movie. And the British are just so, I mean, the, the car didn't Proper. even pick us up till, Proper. Yeah, till 8.30 in the morning. On an American set, most Americans said by 8.30, you've had your hair, your makeup, and yeah. you've, you've made at least one or two yeah. shots. 
I never enjoyed making movies because of the schedule. Yeah. You get up at 4.30 and you get into makeup and then you sit in your trailer for hours until they call you. And then you gotta rev up and give a performance that you're not even in the right That's why so brain. many people who do movies on a regular basis, yeah. and this is not all of them because I know some that are okay, Yeah. but it's very difficult to maintain a marriage when yeah. somebody is away all the time, as an actor, especially if the other partner is also an actor and yeah. he or she is away yeah. all, the, all the time as well. Yeah. And schedules really come we together. We did much better with a TV schedule. I, lo I yeah. love the TV schedule. Yeah. When you do a sitcom, it's five days a week. It's great. And 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 um, ten, ten to ten to yeah. it, ten to five or yeah, ten to three. Yeah, I think something like that. Yeah. And then and after then the third year. Yeah, right. They go. You know where the kitchen is. You know where the living room is. So we we cut it down to three days. I had such fun doing Freeze Company. Wow. And I'm not lazy. It's not because I wanted the schedule. I just I just I loved everything about it. I love John Ritter. John Ritter was great. People always want to know that with me. Okay, well. Hey, Alan, before you walk away. Yeah. Tell me when you got that shirt, where you got yeah, that tell shirt. tell her. Okay. Yeah. When did you get that shirt? Yeah. Okay. There was a gentleman, I was living in Toronto, and there was a gentleman there who was a real artist, but he was a tailor. And his name was Cy Man. He's gone. Cy Man. S Y. C Y. And Excuse me, C Y. In the sixties, early sixties, when I was rich, uh, I you had. Were? A, pardon? I thought when I hooked up with you that I was nabbing a rich guy. Well, I, I had the the trappings of a rich guy. You did, but you didn't have the. The, the rich guys. Well, that's because I, I... It was uh, all right. I loved it. No, you know what? I, I I'm the only life. guy I know who went through a divorce without a lawyer. I didn't have a lawyer. Oh, why? I just said, you know what? I'm fine. You can have everything. I don't want our lives of chil our children's lives yeah, to change. Yeah, that was nice of you. And I took a, a, that was my very car, mature. my car and my clothes. Yeah. And I thought, okay, as long as I got my car and my clothes, <laughs> and then we moved into a 200 a month, 200 a month apartment. Yeah, that was okay. kind of brutal. That was brutal. Yeah, one day poor I Bruce came had home, to sleep upstairs. One day I came and home and I found stairwell. out that we didn't have the $200 to pay the rent. So she sold my clothes. What are you gonna do? My clothes. You don't have money to pay the rent. You sell what you. I had see those in front clothes. I had those clothes made when I was rich. What did rich. you need a cashmere j j uh, coat for? Pardon? What did you need a cashmere trench coat for in in L.A.? You didn't need it. <laughs> Just a moment. No, you didn't. If I took you <laughs> folks on a tour of her closet right now, and she's saying, "What do I need this for?" Okay. I don't want them. I'm going to give everything away. All the clothes away. in her closet, I want okay, to give everything except the away. one she wears every day. She could go to the fanciest gala ball cocktail I could. party. I could. Okay, we have so many nighttime clothes. Okay, so we're selling all of them, and you can buy Suzanne Summer's entire <laughs> wardrobe. Okay. You can. The entire wardrobe. I haven't put them up for sale yet. Okay, but. we're it's a bidding contest now. How much? How much will you pay for? I love this colored shirt. Four hundred pairs of Manolo blocks. I have. And I have so many pairs of Manolo blocks. And blondes. gowns and bling and bling and. Yeah, but you know I wore all of it, and I had an incredible time wearing these things. Well, you still do. Still do. Still do. Yeah. 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 You know what? It is on my Fit, <laughs> fit watch, yeah. which is not happening here. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what time it is? No. Four forty-one. Oh. Oh. Four forty-one. Yeah. Did yeah. he tell you? I love you so much. Could you just stand there and say, "I got this shirt in the '60s and just found it in my closet. Just spit for me." Say that. There you go. Just say that. Say that.
Say so, that. So this tailor, Simon, I commissioned, <laughs> I commissioned him to make one. all of these great shirts with matching ties. And I think I have a blue one and a black one. You have every color. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And he was this master and he had a tailor working for him that did impeccable, pristine work. So I had to make all my suits. And I had, I remember I had this beautiful blue herringbone and the pants were lined in silk. So I can hear Caroline in so my when brain I saying, those pants but how on, did you get these satin shirts? So these Thank you, satin sir. shirts were made by Cy Man, who made all my clothes, okay? okay and then she go. sold them. She sold all my clothes. You can't get over that. Worth thousands of dollars. You know, have you ever been poor? No, the interesting thing is that you had this shirt for 16 years. That's all I need. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yes, Check sick. It out. That's all I need. Yeah. Come here, tell her. Don't yeah. he just left. Come okay. here. You've had these shirts. Okay, for I've had this shirt since the sixties and a bunch of others very much like it. Uh, since the sixties. Okay, is that okay? Okay. It's kind of, you could have done better. Okay. All right. All right. I've had this shirt on my back right now. Yeah, since since the sixties. Wow. How was that? Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. I'm buying it. I'm yeah. Buying yeah. Yeah. You can use that. Okay. That's perfect. Thank you. That's all I needed. All right. Well, I want to say to all of you, you know, I always quote that voice I heard. Do you ever hear voices? And the voice came to me and said, it's not who you are. It's not what you do. It's not what you have. It's only about who you love and who loves you, and I love you. Good night, everybody. I'll see you in a couple of days.